Neo has just unveiled the world's fastest electric car superchargers. Now these superchargers are insane. They are the most powerful EV chargers. And I'm not talking about the one megawatt chargers that can power trucks. I'm talking about chargers for electric cars. And they will actually work with Neo's new EV. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Happy Christmas. Hope you have a good Christmas season and a really, really a fantastic 2024. It's going to be an amazing year when it comes to electric cars, especially when we see this kind of technology, because this kind of technology is going to enable people being able to charge their electric cars, get to, say, an 80% charge in approximately six minutes. I just reviewed Neo's latest electric car, which is capable of using these superchargers at their full capacity of 640 kilowatt. 640 kilowatt fast charging is just insane. So right now, these chargers don't really work with all that many cars, as you can imagine. But there are a few new EVs in China from different brands that are capable of around about 500 to 600 kilowatt fast charging. And uh, whether or not the batteries are going to last very long, I mean, do you think they would? Seriously, I'm not convinced that a battery pack is going to last very long if you're charging at a, a rate of 640 kilowatt. But anyway, they are capable of those charging speeds. So how can you use these? Well, first of all, you've got to buy a Neo electric car and you need to buy Neo's existing or their newest EVs that are capable of this kind of fast charging. They actually use the battery packs that are capable of this kind of fast charging have a new 900 volt architecture. And they also use cylindrical battery cells, which are 46105. So very similar size to a 4680 cell from Tesla, but they're a bit taller. So rather than being 80 mils tall, they're 105 millimeters tall. Very, very, very big battery cells. As far as I know, they're the largest cylindrical battery cells currently being manufactured by anyone worldwide. So this is Neo's fourth generation swap station. These fourth generation stations will feature four NVIDIA or in X chips with six ultra wide angle LIDARs and an overall computing power of 1016 tops. I'm not sure why that's necessary, but it is apparently. The configuration allows these sites to more easily handle complex environments, opening up the possibility of more experiences where they are interconnected with vehicles, said Neo. So not only is this um, an unveiling, Neo is basically unveiled two things at once. One of them, a swap station. You can swap out your battery pack really, really quickly in a Neo. In a Neo EV, they don't have structural battery packs, they have swappable batteries. And so if you buy a Neo EV, you drive to a swapping station, if it's on your destination, great. Then you can swap out your battery for a fully charged battery. It takes approximately three minutes. A machine does it for you as, of course, uh, the battery is very heavy. And then you can, you know, drive away with a, a fresh new battery. Or you can use Neo super fast chargers, 640 kilowatt charging, to uh, charge your battery nearly as quickly as what you can swap it out. It's incredible. Now, there is one type of battery which Neo doesn't allow you to buy. And that's the new semi-solid state battery. You can only rent those battery packs. Neo didn't mention that when they advertised, you know, Neo CEO recently drove their new EV that uses a 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery, which is manufactured by the company, the Chinese battery company called We Lion. And basically Neo is saying, you know what, we're not gonna sell you those batteries, but you can use them if you wanna use these batteries as a rental. So you can rent a semi-solid state battery from Neo, as long as that battery pack will actually fit the model of car that you have ordered. Now, what it, what is interesting to me about all of this is, is really just the pace at which innovation is growing. Imagine how fast EVs will be able to charge in 10 years time from now. I mean, Tony Sebra is saying that EVs will be half the price, in fact, less than half the price in 10 years than what they are today. And imagine if EVs are less than half the price and they're capable of 640 kilowatt fast charging. Maybe they'll be capable of 800 kilowatt by then, I don't know. But either way, it's amazing. I mean, realistically, I agree with what people are saying now, that by 2030, internal combustion is just finished. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.